I'm not taking Yara up. I don't think I'm taking Giada either. I might just fucking take this red battle. Or I might just take this aerial boost. What would Chad take? Chad definitely wouldn't give a fuck about a Yara. He wouldn't want no six mana removal. Chad might just want this red card. Chad does like boosts, though. I mean, you know it's pretty dumb to take boost, probably, and pass the, the other white stuff, too. But people will go crazy for the Yarok first, probably. I ain't taking... I'm taking one of these two cards. Whichever one is more Chad. I'm taking this one. Chad Giga! Chad Giga! Mm, big trouble here. Rolling with your beat stick again? Because Chad don't want to first pick no six mana removal spells. Ham's done drafting. This is Chad's draft. Chad's going to draft this. I'm going to take a flyer on this guy. Uh, if I first pick the difficult... Damn, corp! Fuck! Boostless. I should have a boost. And now I'm screwed. Chad is never screwed. Come on. Chad finds a way here. Maybe he doesn't. This one's this one's tough. What are the odds of me playing a thespian? It seems low, but I don't know what else I'd pick. I'm not taking planes. I ain't that Chad. I can't even see taking Storm the Seed Core or something. I don't fucking know. I hope I don't have to play any of those. Chad doesn't really like Fuende, but it's a knight. It's better with boost. It doesn't look like Ral's reinforcements. I like that'd be a whole like I'd have a two card deck if I took that. I'm gonna select Quende. This might be the first time I've played Quende. Alright, this deck is nutted now. Spanking it right now! Thank you for the subscription. It's not my birthday, but thank you. If I wheel that boost, fucking Giga. It does. The Cavalier is like the one thing that likes Quinde. Come on, boost. Be there. Right in my, my holster. He doesn't have the clout that you do. There it is. Now, I would like slumber, but I can't take it over boost. You have clout and just taste better and whatnot. Giving away beat sticks now? I don't like this. I think it right into white red here proper. I prefer the blue. But these go well with the white cards I got as well. It's not my birthday, and if I'm being Chad, it's not his birthday either. If you want to shower me with gifts, just go ahead, but no, it's not really my birthday. I don't want any false gifts. Oh, pug pulls. And now, you and I are living the right. Just fine. Can't steal it. We're going to steal it. Uh, loaf mode. Loaf mode. Thank you for the subscription. Best pick. I don't like Gobacon much. I don't know. I guess I might go into white red here. Take this Scald. There's no blue. And I don't like Gobacon much. I'd still rather be white blue, I think. I think it's better than Spite in, in this deck. Fuck you. You don't? The Scald wins me like every game I play it. I have double boost. I don't think it's close. His name is Symbols. He beats me every time. Let's try to put these two out of my mind. See what looks better here out of the blue and the white. Not the, the blue and the red. 
Yeah, I mean, the white creatures I play are going to mostly be knights. The Rowls doesn't even really look very good. It's really these three and these two. I'd probably rather just be blue, but I've seen Fenrir a little of it. I think I can delay the decision probably for quite a while, just because I have so many playable red-white cards. All right, no longer delayed. I'm going down with the ship. White and blue, and that's it. Try to make playables. Right now, the deck is great, but there's only 11 soldiers. It's another one I like. I'd love to see that. I think I'm drafting great. Drunk and asleep. Man, I think it's this over the slumber. I like both of these. Mighty, let's go. Fuck a cleansing, right? Chad, Chad's deck. Chad doesn't care about interaction. Quinde looking nice. Chad will take a preening champion. Maybe two pacifisms and maybe a three drop or two. I'm Chad, I thought. Y'all are confusing me. I'll play it, I guess. Not love it, but it's probably playable. I'll hide it, but I don't mind it. Hopefully that doesn't make it. It's Chad Giga, Chad Giga. I was losing, so Chad took over this draft. Chad doesn't give a fuck. It might be dispersal, but I'm taking a Strobe Knight. All right, it's probably time to take a cleansing or, or what? No, Chad would never, right? Chad likes his three ones. Chad Giga, Chad Giga. Um, I'll be honest with you. I thought that was the, the blue-white 3-4. I didn't even think it was Anafenza. Anafenza would have probably been fucking great with all these one-toughness white creatures. I don't know. I might have. I thought I passed the three four rebound card, but I may have. I may have passed Anafenza. In all seriousness, I've got nothing but knights and no interaction at all. Do I just take this bounce thing so I have something, or do I just take a, another good two drop? But it's worse than all these two drops in my deck. I think I'm gonna pick this thing. God, I can't take pacifism. Chad Giga, Chad Giga. I can lose with this. I'll block with every deck. I could definitely lose with this one. And yeah, Ernie's right. It looks very awkward. Chad Giga, Chad Giga. A little interaction for Chad's deck. Good lord, give Chad the hooks. Chad's not going to even have to play filler, really. To be honest, I don't like this one, so I'm going to leave it for now, but it's probably going to get played. I think it's fine. These are interaction, right? I mean, they're dope. These can tap creatures. Fuck. What do I need? Ernie is probably correct. really have anything that I want to tap with this. I'm not playing this thing? I don't know. I got a few question marks like that. I don't hate my dog. My dune shaper because I picked up two cleansings and two boosts. I kind of like the, the shaper. And then there's the... I can't play this order. That's ridiculous. Well, this is a good one. I should probably play that with four. I don't know, guys. This one looks pretty knightly. I'm not even finishing it tonight unless it finishes real fast. I've got about 45 minutes. I doubt I 7-0 in that time. I doubt I 7-0. But even if I did, I don't think it's going to be that fast. I'm definitely playing 17 lands. I mean, this is probably just going to be my deck right here.
There's no cards I want to take out. Cards I'd consider playing and, and think are worth it would be this this thing. And maybe the one drop. Like, I don't think I need these. And I don't want this thing. I mean, maybe I should be playing... Maybe I should be playing this. I don't know over what. Nah, I don't want Stasis Field. I just, I kind of like the dog because I don't mind tapping him for the cleansings. That's the only reason to kind of like the dog. You would rather have it than what? I ain't, a Chad ain't cutting a 3 1. Uh, even if that's correct, I'm just not going to do it. And it very well may be correct. I'm not playing 16 land. I want a double spell. I got four drops. I want to play two spells in a turn. That's not happening. I'm probably playing it just like this, but I could see that these two cards could maybe be better. And if I have the problem of too many Cavaliers and I can't get in, maybe I'll change it and add this or something. I do agree that no matter what, it is a crazy deck. I completely agree with that. Yep, there you go. Ernie was right. Awkward draws. Ernie was right. Forest. Yeah. No, Chad is smart, not stupid. Chad realizes that the best way to play is to cast his cards. Oh, fucking Chad. You can't you can fuck this up, can't you, Kyle? I can fuck them all up. Chad already missed his lands. No. Chad Giga. It's an emote. This motherfucking pig. I don't think I'm going to win it if I never draw another land. It's a pretty good one. Don't count your chickens just yet, gentlemen. Don't fuck things up. Well, if he just has a counter spell here, well, heaven help him if he flips this thing. Deary me, I can't do a whole hell of a lot of four four. Should I just tap it or make two knights? I can just kill him, right? I can't kill him. We like, kill him if he doesn't chump. Oh, wait, this guy gets... this guy grows. If I fly... no, this is Vigilance. Yeah, I do have lethal. Would never dream of cutting.
It's just a race, man. Sometimes in a race, though, you got a horse. These horses are kind of good for racing. Whatever he's doing ain't hitting on much. Playing the ponies here. Almost never. Please, my next episode of the podcast is going to be about mana. I've made notes and everything. I'm going to talk all fucking about it. I plan on it being like my masterpiece. I'm very excited about it, honestly. Fucking rocked there. What if he eats one of these? How bad is it? Really ain't bad, but. This one's gonna be different. Like, it's not gonna be just about this format. I'll certainly relate things to this format, but it's gonna be more of a, a general thing. I'm telling you guys, it might not finish in time. This is a J-Rab. I doubt it's I doubt it's the same one though. I doubt it's him. I don't think this is the same J-Rab from the chat. I think he would be the J-Rab, just like he is everywhere else. He likes that name. Well, that's fine. If you want to, yeah, no, if you want to play that part, that's totally cool. I just don't think it's actually the same person. But I got you. It's possible that he would. I think I'm just going to dispersal this fucking thing. Try to find a lane. Smart enough to tell if I'm going to want the other one to convoke or something. Is he countering me? I think he's. No, he's not countering me. Is he protection spelling? Oh, I'm getting in there. He was here tonight. Like, the first thing he said, or at least the first thing he I saw him say was like, don't worry, not staying long or something. I don't make any sense. I was like, hello. I'm on a time crunch here, dingus. I gotta win fast. What is this goat doing with three blue mana open? I'm calling that shit. I'll beat you into the pot, buddy. Quendi, the pride of Fimerath! You think he's got Skate Shift, huh? I doubt he's got it, but he can trade with my Practical Might if he does. He wants to soak up six. That, that doesn't even trade, buddy. First striker. Double strike even. Quende. Come on, man. You got to know about Quende. He's embarrassed. No 3 1. Oh, 
Under there. Three one. Well, there's seven in here, Alpo. Not super worried about a pest. I'm probably just gonna fly this guy to make make a knight. Boom, boom, tack, tack, make. Oh, no, I don't even have to tap on that alpha. I also could tuck. So I could tap this, this, and two. I think I just boost. Yes, we do have that. Oh my god, he's got the gift of completion? Come on, man. I really don't know what to do as much as I'm memeing here. I think maybe I'm just attacking for three. Chad would probably think a little bit longer. No, Chad would just play by fly by night. I might do the token, I might just do the pest. If I, I mean, the token he has to spend mana on, the only way I'm losing, I think, is if he, like, spends his mana doing something other than this token. Like, he, like, makes the token, plays the battle that does three to my Zalfur. Yeah, maybe I should have done the token because of that. Well, this costs two mana. Like, he may have something else to do with his mana and then, then incubate this at the end of turn. If I know he doesn't have anything else to do with two mana, I'm going to do this. See? Now he still has to find a way to, to incubate. That would be brutal. The battle that drains three doesn't save him any. I guess the card's not called Toxic Deluge, but there is a card that gives white creatures minus three, minus three. White or green creatures. That's probably about the only thing. I don't think a lifelinker is going to do it. And the, the battle that gains three doesn't do it anymore. That's a start. But I mean... This doesn't do it on its own, so. Are you getting ads, Dutter Butter? I would hope you're not. Fuck it. Leave no doubt. Well, too bad. I'm not rescheduling. That's not how I operate. Honestly, they might not with this many of you. The ad revenue is pretty good with this many people, but like, it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm going to do it. 
Pride Femera for the Coalition of Knights. Probably just the Coalition. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go with the Pride of Femoraf today. Maybe he also doesn't know it's a knight. Uh, it feels like he's got a remove, so I don't think I want to play this and then risk some kind of attack going terrible. I'd rather do this and then just get him in there, probably. I'm accepting of this. It's pretty rough. It's probably worst case scenario, basically. I mean, I'm still in great shape, but... That's a good one, too. Life link on a big motherfucker. No double white for me. Here's my alarm for coaching. Is he going to Fiora me now? Then you can subscribe or leave. Whether it's eight or three, it's going to be two and a half minutes at a time. You're not missing much with this deck anyways. This deck is just stupid. It's not like you can sit down and draft this. Once in a blue fucking moon. Probably roughly two weeks. Maybe ten days. It could be off a little. All right, we got a contender here. No, we got a contender here, I think. I feel a contender. This hand just it doesn't have that oomph. I feel like he might get me. Yeah, I kind of felt this. Manual tapping three to four. Yeah. Well, we know what's coming now. And he's flipping out. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. No, this ain't okay. He got two treasures. Flipped his battle. Sacks it to draw. I mean, this is just insane. Yeah, it's likely going to be over real fast. Yeah, I partially looked at my hand and I could just tell it could be picked apart. And then he went Swamp Mountain. And things seem too good to be true. Can't afford to bounce that, that's for certain. I mean, my draw was fine. He just, his draw lined up great against mine. This draw would have beaten your fucking Tapland Forest player, you know? Would have beaten him on about turn five, but instead, you know, this guy's at 20 because he's done stuff. All right. Good enough for me. We have time crunch. That's a mulligan. Come on, man. We got a time crunch.
I need to place something on the third turn that's probably not a cleansing. This thing looks pretty good. Won't give me another land next turn. Gotta have a spell. Eh, might not be any good anyways now. Yeah. Back Baral, I guess. This one will be fast-ish, but this guy's played kind of fast. Not, I'm not going to be able to put up much of a fight. Didn't do anything, huh? Count me out, I guess. And all of my creatures are lighting up, which is strange. I mean, he might get the counter draw, though. Wicked slumber, that's fine. Well, I guess he's going to kill the other one, or else he tapped a weird one. I just wanted to take four. Okay, got O one. There's the splash, the sigiled sentinel. He's attacking me. she goes. I'm going first. I don't have any of my seven three ones or four lords. And I will not have one this game. Playing without half my soldiers. Dude, they're, they're loving this two drop here, the one two. I got to give him this opportunity. Make him think it might work. Just give him the business. He's full of birds. Most tap the goat. You know, he'd have to jump with the champ if he wanted to block. And pass. Is it minus three minus? Well, why wouldn't he do it on the Zalfra? What this is, he's still. I'll make it a four three. That's what it is. 
No, final flourish. Not sacrificed, right? I think he has another one. I think he was going to flourish this and then flourish this. Or so I don't even know, actually. Maybe I don't know what he's got. So he's only taking four damage, but my shit's living for the most part. This guy's deck is all final flourishes and preening champions. a wrath he didn't even try to block with this thing he's incubating this is weird okay and just in the nick of time he's done it i think that's seven right i'd feel bad if it wasn't because i'm celebrating it nick of time i did it all right i'll be on tomorrow playing the open sealed deck Hopefully I can qualify fast, and then I can play some best of three to practice. Got to go walk around. Good night. I'm <laughs> sorry.